now September the 8th today, Sunday. Uh, yesterday was opening day in Kentucky. Um, Harlan had a soccer game, so we just kind of hung out at home and took off this morning after I loaded up the tractor and stuff. You can see behind me, I got the Kubota on board. Um, basically gonna drill some cereal grains. We've got some rain coming this week. Not as bad as Southern Ohio, but it's been really dry down here in Kentucky. I am gonna hunt a few days here, uh, get some of the cereal grains in. We're gonna do some mowing. We've got the our alfalfa to mow as well. Maybe hang a stand, check some cameras, but excited man for the 2024 season. Can't wait to get in the stand tonight. I think we've got kind of a north wind. So I've got a ladder stand over the one cove of beans. If luck has it, he'll walk by within range, but hoping to just get some eyes on, on some deer tonight and see what they're doing. guys well we're back at the cabin um getting some dinner cooked up here late man it's uh i'm i'm kind of giddy uh you can ask me like i didn't kill the deer but for a plan to work out like that not using cell cams just kind of going off the of historical data understanding the wind and where that deer could be bedded uh and this is him this was uh his shed from last year uh when i think he was a four-year-old uh not real impressive i mean good beams good mass for sure not real good time length in fact this year he put on g4 on this side and he's almost got a g4 on the other side but i've watched this deer since i bought the property when he was three years old and uh emily and the kids and i found this last year uh in one of the food plots so cool to start to build some history with these deer and you know this close 53 yards uh and we could have had them this is kind of the deer that I'm looking for. So Jared and I have talked about this on the podcast. Um, this is either a two or three year old, I don't know, hard to say, but this deer would have scored in the mid to high 40s last year. If he was a two year old, that deer is gonna be 60s or 70s this year in the mountains of Kentucky. This is actually on my what I would consider my mountain property where this is more farm. This deer could be a giant. So we're looking for him. I'm gonna go and sit in the morning uh, where I think he could be. Couldn't ask for a better first night. That's the target buck that I have right now, knowing that he's a five-year-old. Um, there's some great bucks on that property, but they're young. Be cool to, to get my hands on this deer potentially tomorrow night uh, when we go back out after him. just soft 
grunted back at it, and an adult doe and fawn came in. I hear doe grunts very little during the season, and if I do, it is about this time with those fawns, but that for sure sounded like a buck grunt, but I haven't seen anything, so... This is one of the coolest things I found on this farm when I first bought it. Tons of persimmons. There's four or five different trees that are loaded. Crazy, it's always hard to find these things, but you see I just drilled this half acre plot back here. Um, oats, clo annual clover, put a little bit of brassica in there and some winter peas, so we're gonna get that rain this week and uh, should be good. Pretty cool spot, this is the old cabin. It's part of this farm. I bet this thing's 60 years old. I think they moved it. Check this out. Not too far off that food plot. It's a good rub. See the food plot? It's right there with the tractor. Pretty cool. There's a bunch of oaks in here. So I'm just coming in to check for acorns, but I love seeing that. Just kind of doing a small perimeter search, not far from that food plot. Check this out. Another old rub. I was looking for a grapevine to be able to hang. Some new rubs there. Those bugs are working this ridge. It's pretty cool. That's a good spot. Cool to see them using this. I'll try to get a good scrape and a camera established up here. Guys, going right back into the same stand. This deer's a home body. He's here most of the season, so if it doesn't happen tonight, uh, we'll have another chance on him, but could happen. I mean, he was coming right along the edge. It would've been perfect. It just took too long to get down there, so maybe I'll move a little quicker today. We'll see. Well, snuck out a little bit early tonight. Uh, that field kind of emptied. That one-year-old was kind of bumping those adult does and they went down, um, I think towards our pond that we got back there, probably get drinks. Nothing else really started to come through, so I figured it's safe to get out and uh, not clear a field. So, pretty cool. We're gonna hunt tomorrow morning, probably back at the mountain property. And uh, then we gotta come back out here. We gotta feed out there. Um, and then we gotta come back out here and do some mowing. And then that's it. That's a wrap for this trip. It take me. Oh.